In this video, we're going to be demonstrating WebRoot Endpoint Protection and Acronis CyberProtect as it relates to our anti-malware section and who should have first right of refusal for a virus hitting it and different settings. For starters, you'll see here that I have the WebRoot service running. I also have Acronis running. You'll notice here that ng-scan, which is Acronis, and the WRKRN is WebRoot. While it says the number of instances is zero, it says an instance is already running. You'll notice that WebRoot is lower in the altitude table. Therefore, it should be having that first right of refusal picking things up. I set up the policy so that the end user can open these up. And you will see that I have real-time protection on and several different things going on. So WebRoot is active at this point. You will also see that we have our protection enabled. So both products are running at the same time. You'll see that I have active protection on, I have behavior engine on, I also have the real-time protection on. So both products real-time protection is on. I'm going to go to our Acronis test file, which is the Eckert test file, and I'm going to go ahead and try to extract it. You will see that a file folder exists. You notice how WebRoot picked this up first and it disappeared. So you could see that WebRoot did have first right of refusal to pick this up. It has not showed up yet in the console. You will notice that we picked this up as well. But you will notice that it is not, this is from previous on a test, but you will notice that we did not quarantine it because WebRoot did pick it up and did their quarantine. So we did alert that something was happening, but we were not able to open it up because we had two different softwares running at the same time. So WebRoot and Acronis are running at the same time. Everything is turned on for both products. WebRoot did have first right of refusal to pick it up. Now, what would happen if I turn off WebRoot? What would our product do? So I'm gonna shut down protection. So WebRoot is not running now. you notice that while it says it's running, it's not running now because I had to refresh that. So the service is not running for them, but Acronis is running. Now let's just see what happens when we do the Eckert test. Folder starts up. Disappears. Let's go to our console. And you will see that the Eckert test did happen. And because WebRoot was not on, we moved it to our quarantine area. This was at 948. And you'll see here at 948, we moved this file here. So WebRoot and Acronis on this Windows 2016 server were able to be both loaded. There were no system crashes. WebRoot is supposed to be picking things up as a first right of refusal. In this case, it did. When WebRoot was turned off, we picked it up. The interesting thing was when WebRoot did pick it up, we also noticed it, but we couldn't move something to a quarantine file because WebRoot moved it to their quarantine file. But we got an alert saying that something also happened. Keep in mind that every system is different. There may be different configurations. My recommendation is to spin up, say, a virtual machine in a test environment and install both products and see what happens because every environment is different. But for this particular situation, both products were able to run from a testing perspective. And you could see that I didn't have to uninstall another product to demo a trial. All I had to do was shut down the protection for the one product, WebRoot, to be able to work with our product as well. 
all I'd have to do is turn back on WebRoot if I wanted WebRoot to be back on during my testing environment or turn it off, or you could turn ours off and have theirs running. 